Okay, this is optimized. So that only the digits are written that actually change. It's a lot faster. Three seconds pause. The negative sign is just to show which part is being rewritten. There we go, the negative went front as well. Here you can see very well which you might want to go back. I will see it when the minute changes. You can see the, n the newly written numbers are yellow on black background, and those that were first written are black on yellow background, such as the period and the colon. There we go. Two minutes. It's pretty fast like this. I think I don't need to optimize anymore. Could of course check each pixel if it, if it's already set or not, but. I don't think that's necessary. I think this is fast enough. And it's it's redrawing almost every tenth of a second and that is in my opinion fast enough. At least just with only the tenth showing, it's it's that fast. We'll see in the next demo page that it's um, a bit slower when it has to show more digits. Quite obvious. And the logo transition once again. See, now we've got three digits. And the fraction mark. And it's still... I'll have to check on the video, but... It's still about four-tenths of a second between each rewrite. That's plenty as well. I mean, we're not we're not typing a ski race, a uh, timing a ski race. It's just a sky bike. Uh, I like these logo transitions with the random. Uh huh. There. Well, it looked like I busted something, but no, it's, it's okay. Transitioning from two different memory pages. Ah, oh, now I remember. 
why the the last logo was so strange. I just overwrite over the logo, I just overwrite some experiment. Some scatter points. In the frame by frame you probably can see that it's writing from the right to the left. Here again the scatter points. Those were done on purpose. And again the demo with the um, demonstration of which digits are actually being rewritten. And the time is pretty much in sync with my video time. It took me about two seconds to pick up the camera and turn it on after I plugged in the Arduino. This is still without any serial communication. I'm just pre-programming the Arduino with the demo and then letting it run. That's the next step. making a serial protocol so I can actually feed it graphics and commands because this is mainly a stopwatch so the main commands will be start stop reset but we also want to be able to display banners of the sponsors and in front of the time there's enough space for a name and a category. Yeah, that's about what. Yeah, that's about it. Don't need to explain more. Now this portion runs for about two minutes. So it'll be finished any time now. There we go. No one will have eight minutes, but you never know. So I prepared for that case as well. I also prepared for hours in case we want to show the time. Although I will have to change something because I'm using signed longs and that's just not sufficient to show 24 hours in milliseconds. Those are my scatter points again. And yeah. 